So in Lee Longway, I'm based working at Scripture Union and part of my job is to oversee the work of staff and our ministry into schools, into camps and uh, local Bible study groups. And that's what my day-to-day -day revolves around, trying to look and identify what training needs to be done and how we can support our staff across the country in the jobs that they have working with our volunteers. Another part of my job is looking after our residential centres, none of which are in the long way. Uh, there's one in Candy, which we're building. It's a huge building to accommodate up to 96 people. And then down in Lewande, which is a much smaller centre, but still available for day conferences and, and some residential camps. I'm looking at the development of both of those centres, uh, based here in New Longway, but getting to travel up north and down south uh, once uh, every couple of months. There's so much here that can be discouraging. The challenges that you face in a day-to-day -day scenario, such as computer systems not working to pay bills or to purchase things, uh, communication networks down that you can't contact staff, uh, the price of fuel, the, the roads, uh, the network of roads just so deteriorating. You can look at that and think it's hard to work, but then you realize we're not the only ones at work, but ultimately God is at work in, in everything that we desire to do through Scripture Union. He's at work in the small, he's at work in the small communities of people who meet weekly for Bible studies, uh, either youth Bible studies or marriage enrichment Bible studies. He's at work in the hundreds of uh, Bible clubs throughout primary schools, in primary schools throughout the country, uh, where lives are changing. Lives are being changed uh, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, young lives coming to faith and maturity and discipleship. And then that's building a generation who will go and take the gospel throughout this country and this nation. We need to focus on what he is doing and not on the challenges that our jobs can face. Uh, and that's what keeps us going, knowing that he is going before us, uh, setting the way, and we are here to do what we can in that great plan of salvation for the people of Malawi, uh, working with our colleagues and uh, going into all this country uh, as far as we can, uh, Bible studies and schools to, to bring the good news of the gospel to boys and girls, young people and families. With the challenges that we face, it's easy to get lost in them. It's easy to focus on the small problems that come our way every day, as well as the big ones that are mountains to, to get over. But you have to keep looking to God in prayer and in faith, but also in action, uh, that we continue to seek His leading for His answers, rather than trying to do it on our own. We would value prayer as we together identify the needs of our staff. Our main role is to equip our staff for the work that they will do. We are learning to travel, but we will not be fluent anytime soon. And so we depend on our staff to, to do the work in the field. What we desire to do is come up with training uh, that will support them in that. Pam is writing Bible studies for teacher Christian fellowship groups and she'll continue to do that uh, as and when she has the time uh, with us starting a family uh, that has changed things slightly but she will continue to, to write studies that will be used in Christian fellowship groups that meet on a monthly basis. We hope that these studies then can also be used by the local church and uh, Bible study groups can, can really take hold in local churches 
of every denomination uh, here in Malawi. My work will continue to see me traveling a lot uh, to the north and to the south and in and around to the long way. And uh, we value prayer for safety as we travel. Uh, it's, it can be dangerous, incidences with goats, dogs, bicycles, everything like that along the road, uh, chickens included. And we value prayer and safety um, as we travel and overall discernment for, for what we do here. We pray for, ask for prayer for Scripture Union, for Alan Shanika, our National Director, and for our staff as they get on with the job that they have, and the calling that they have in going into schools and Bible study groups and working with the churches, uh, partnering with them to, to bring the good news of the Gospel to everywhere in this land. There are opportunities for people to be involved by coming and helping us on a short-term basis and uh, we are open to, to people coming and helping us with training activities or building projects in whatever way people can, can help uh, be involved in what we're currently doing. The opportunities are here for people to come and, and support us and support Scripture Union. You can find more information about what Pamela and I are doing here in Malawi by visiting www.elongwayletters.org.uk You'll find prayer information and you'll find our blog and general information uh, about the work in ministry, so go and check it out.